I was recently impressed with a concept, and I have a challenge for you on how to incorporate this concept into role-playing. Game Master's here, and I'd like your help. This is a shorts format, but I'm going to change it into a long form format in kind of a new way. I like to do my videos in a vehicle, and you'll note over the years that I've made them in a variety of vehicles. But now, thanks to this new concept, I can do them in anything, in almost any surrounding, and it's all without a green screen. For example, I might find myself in an alien spaceship with blinking buttons and other visual goodies. I admit that this is in its infancy. So how's it work, and how can we incorporate this into a tabletop role-playing game? Well, it makes use of Photoshop's beta a uh, newest feature called generative fill. You guys have seen this background before, but in an instant I can alter it slightly. This generative fill basically takes a still and expands what it might look like. As mentioned, it's in its infancy right now, so there's a few little visual quirks here and there, but the potential is through the roof. There are limitations. For example, I can't really move myself outside of the, that uh, 1080 by 1920 frame. But again, I think that the feature itself is rather cool. What I'm stumped on is, how can I incorporate this into my tabletop role-playing game? What can you guys come up with? Perhaps combining it along with a, uh, a virtual tabletop. What about using it to take photos of your player's minis and expanding that scene to print out? I don't know, these seem kind of basic, but it's still very cool. I've been playing with my Game Master's Wizards in here and the backgrounds are turning out really, really cool. Like I said, this is the challenge. Let me know your best ideas on how this generative fill can be used in tabletop role-playing games, or if you think it can, down in the comments. And until next our paths cross, may you find yourself in a world outside of our normal.